I'm Jeff Pervez. Welcome to the University of Huddersfield. Thank you for having me. You're here at the launch today of the Ecosystems uh, of Enterprise. Um, this is not a new idea, is it? This is something that uh, uh, goes back and, uh, and, and really what we're doing is we're capturing it today and, and moving it forward. But just exactly wh where do you see its origins from? Okay, a brilliant question, but, but let me take you back to the origins of why we need an ecosystem. Um, when I talk to people, people forget that UK PLC was the first tiger economy. We actually created and gave the world the industrial revolution that people now talk about. But conveniently, we happen to be at a different uh, life cycle stage. We're far advanced in terms of where we are. But what you see across the globe is people at the beginning of that. So you have pollution, child exploitation, and all that kind of stuff. Right? But why do we need an ecosystem uh, approach to our enterprising culture uh, in UK PLC today? The reason for that is that when we were actually trading maybe 100 years ago, right, we had a comparative advantage compared to other countries because they were miles behind in terms of the learning curve, experience curve and so forth. But after the Second World War, when nations actually they were under the empire got their independence, they were very eager to copy the motherland and, and actually compete and show that they were just as good as what we were. It, in fact, they were more eager to show that they were better than us because that's, when you gain their independence, you have that enthusiasm to show that you're a better person than what you were. As a result of it, probably 40, 50 years down the line, you have the bricks knocking on our door and now we've got the mints. Now the mints sound sweeter but believe me, they, punch, they have a punch that's even bigger than the bricks. So in terms of where we are, in terms of global competitiveness and the, the environment that we're in, how do we actually see that? And the ecosystems actually looks at, at the talent pool of entrepreneurs that we have. How do we actually cherish that entrepreneurial spirit? How do we actually give them the skill sets, right, so they can compete globally? Where are the growth industries? How do we actually move people who want to start a business uh, and, and, and advise them in terms of diversification or move them in sectors where we can say, look guys, the opportunity of business and growth are more here. Yeah, with the same capital, right? Instead of just doing hair and beauty salons, I know we need them, right? But you know, if you moved in a ca carbon capture and innovation and technology and, and programming and you know, advanced engineering, it, it's difficult, but you know, that's where the future is and that's where the profit margins are and that's what gives you the competitive advantage. But I think the, 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 the problem that we've had in the past, the business support system right, and the business support kind of offer that we've had has been absolutely brilliant in terms of the numbers. But in terms of its complexity and structure and how businesses access has been a problem. That's not me saying it. All the research, the academics, you know, centre for cities, all those people that have done have basically shown that is the problem. So the ecosystems of enterprise now is trying to bring the world of education from primary school. So we have kids who are not working with an education system which was about two in, which was fit for purpose 200 years ago when we had the factory system, but is not fit for the purpose for the technological revolution with the connectivity, right? So we need to improve those systems, right? And bring them in line with where the life cycle of those children is going to be in terms of... So in effect, really, it, 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 we're, to, we're looking from a very young age all the way through uh, university and beyond. Really. Absolutely, because the thing is, if you go to any employer today and, and ask them, what are the challenges when you're hiring people? And they all say, soft skills, not disciplined, haven't got the enthusiasm. Why? In effect, I would say our education system is dumbing our children down. Because you have a lesson, Imagine the, you, you, you're in a lesson and you're learning about a quadratic equation and the child with his imaginative mind is, is, is got into it and all of a sudden, ring, the bell goes. He's going to switch off and then go to geography. But you know, in his mind, he's still doing the quadratic equation, but we're forcing him to do something else, right? 
We need to structure lessons in a way that brings out the best. And technology allows that to happen. If you look at the Khan Acad Academy in, in America, what is it doing? Online personal tutoring, where the kids actually do what they want, what they enjoy, whatever time it is. And you know what they've shown, that that can, that, that can work. Then let's go to the sixth formers, and then let's go to the, the academics and people who are graduates and postgraduates. Right? Well, we have some of the best innovating uh, universities, but where's the route to market for those ideas? Because you know what we've not done? That connectivity with the lower end isn't there. The critical thinking isn't there. Thinking out of the box isn't there. And that's why we innovate and somebody else actually takes it to market and makes loads of money out of it. And then we all sit down and say, oh, well, you know what? We're going to have to buy that Dyson's Hoover from Malaysia. Well, why? You know, let's, you, know, when we, you know, when we know that is the problem, why don't we connect all these things together? So, and you talk about uh, connecting uh, together. You've, you're obviously here to launch it today. What are you, you know, together, are we talking about government? Are we talking about uh, academia? Are we talking about business, um, local government? Or, you know, where does it stop? Do you want all of these people on board? Okay, well... The first thing is, we said ecosystem. Ecosystem implies whoever the stakeholders are. Right? I'm not a politician, I'm an entrepreneur, and I'm, uh, I advocate that unless we become a trading, a best trading nation again, we will not, you know, when I graduated from Huddersfield University in 1983, we were at number two. We're, you know, we're at number six. With the mints around the corner, are we gonna accept that we should go to number 10? You know, what I'm saying, is whether you're a politician, whether you're a, a, a massive corporation, whether you're a, a university or a school or a college, if you have something to do and contribute to the, the well-being of enterprise in the UK, be part of this ecosystem. It's not us forcing you it. Our children's life, yours and my livelihood and the standard of living, right, of then my children and their grandchildren, actually depends on us getting this right. We've got it right with the Olympics, we've got it right with football, we've got it right with cricket, we've got it right with some of the other institutions like the social welfare. Why is it that the, the, the game that's in town that impacts every single person on this planet that we, we're operating in silos, we need to create this connectivity and, and, and the ecosystem that will take us forward and beyond. Thank you. The University of Huddersfield, inspiring tomorrow's professionals.